In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to trace something in an AutoCAD drawing. So you can see that there's already a few things that have been traced in here and they've set, been set up with colors that are gonna work for the laser. Um, let me just show you how that happened. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to um, a web browser and within that web browser, I'm gonna go and find myself an image. So let's say I want to trace a dragon. If you just put in dragon, you're probably gonna get some fairly fancy drawings that are going to be pretty challenging to trace. My recommendation is that you actually do dragon clip art and uh, that way it super simplifies it to something that's very doable. So they're not quite as fierce here, but uh, they're a little bit more doable. So let's take this cute little guy here and uh, I'm going to just right mouse click, copy it and pop into AutoCAD and I'm going to go ahead to trace that. So if I paste it in here, um, I'm actually going to trace it outside of where its final destination is going to be so that it doesn't uh, conflict with um, other stuff. So you'll notice that I have a pretty big um, crosshairs here and the reason for that is that it makes it a lot easier to trace stuff if you can change the color and size of your crosshairs. Here's how you're going to do that. Go, sorry, just anywhere on your screen, right mouse click, go down to options and within options go to the display tab um, and then within the display tab you can change the size of your crosshairs. So what you were seeing before that's uh, size 30. I think the defaults of five um, but you can make them the full screen as well. So you can see your crosshairs no matter where you are. Let me just show you what full screen looks like. And then to change the color within the window elements, go down to colors and choose crosshairs and uh, choose a color that will contrast well with what you're working on. So um, I chose yellow. Um, maybe let's see what cyan looks like and we'll hit apply and apply and uh, let's see what that looks like. So my crosshairs are going to take up my whole screen now and hopefully they're going to be a color that I can see what I'm doing. Um, the most valuable tool I use for tracing something is just going to be your polyline. And so polyline and zoom in on something. Let's start off with this uh, goofy little um wing up here. So I've chosen polyline. One thing I do like to do is turn off these little snaps and, and other grids and whatever else is on the bottom here. And uh, let's go ahead and start tracing this. So sorry, I need to reselect polyline and go ahead and start tracing. So cyan might not have been my best choice seeing as there's a lot of cyan in here. So go ahead and start tracing. You're going to go and do this for a while. If you want to see what your progress looks like, push down on the wheel of your mouse, which allows you to pan, but it also temporarily hides the image. So I can kind of see what I'm doing there and see what I've done so far. And uh, I'll just stop right there so that I can show you how to do a little bit of editing of that. So that line, that polyline I just made, I'm going to select it. And the first way that's pretty easy to edit is if you see some of your traced line that's a little off, um, you can just grab one of these handles and just move it a little bit. So that's a pretty quick and easy way to, to move things. Um, you can also um, smooth smoothen the line by using spline. So to use spline, um, right mouse click polyline, po edit polyline, and uh, just go down to spline. And so now notice how it's all nice and smoothed out. So that's something you might want to do. Um, one other thing that's pretty important because we're making this to be cut out on the laser is to change the color. So I select it once more and the color that I want it to be is going to be um, green so that it just kind of etches it on the laser and green is our medium color. So there are some of the basics on tracing stuff. Some other tools you might want to use for tracing um, are going to be the circle. Let's imagine that this eyeball here is, is a nice circle. Um, the circle tool that I like to use is actually the three point. And so I would go one, two, three points, and you can kind of see a little circle coming up there. I hit escape and select the circle, and uh, let's make that one green as well so that it'll be something that will be etched by the laser. Um, there's lots of other tools, but they're all fairly similar to tools that you would use in Inventor or um, many other drawing programs. So hopefully that 
is helpful to get you started. Let's say I'm all done with my drawing, which obviously I'm not, but I'm going to select the outside of the image that I used there. And then I just hit delete on my keyboard. And then this brilliant drawing here can be placed wherever I want in the parts that I'm going to be cutting out. So I'm going to hit M for move, or you could use the move up, up in your tools there. M for move space bar because it's the same as enter. And then I select, selecting an AutoCAD is, uh, you're gonna click release and then click again to finish your selection. So I've selected my objects. And then um, the last thing I'm, well then we're still reading from that uh, line at the bottom there, specify your base point. So I click on a base point. And then uh, let's say I want the dragon to be right at my front door. And again, apologies, this dragon isn't quite done, but um, go ahead and send it wherever you want. If it's way too big or small, you might want to scale it. That might be something you do ahead of time. And so SC is for scale, spacebar to enter. Select what you want to scale, spacebar to enter, specify base points. So let's just do sort of in the middle of where I am there. And then you can use the mouse to do that scaling, or you could... Um, scale it with uh, an actual number that you put in if you know that it needs to be 0.5 of what you originally had. So click to enter for what that's going to be scaled to. And that's how you insert a um, image into your drawing.